Yeah, cartridges for that price that fall apart, that's a bit suspicious thing and that would fall in kind of garbage section. So why would you use them? Hello friends, it's Yuris here and this is Tattoo Shop Talk, a channel where we share our thoughts and experiences in this craft of tattooing to help you improve and most importantly mess up less. So if that's your kind of thing, consider subscribing and stick around. Today it's again Techie Talk and we will review some cartridges. This will be a quick short review of cartridges and we will have three types and two of them is from one brand, from Killer Ink brand. So let's start. What do we have here? We have Killer Ink Precision cartridges. Next we have Killer Ink Stellar cartridges. I like the name. And this little box here, this is from your recommendations from previous video. And these are Elite number 3 cartridges. And as in previous video, I will stack them by my preferences. And it's not like a review on what work you can specifically do, but it's how practical it is and how price per performance stacks up. So let's start. Let's start with price. And I have them lined up almost correct. So the most expensive ones are precision needle cartridges from Killer Ink and obviously it was my bad when I ordered them. I didn't look into it but they come only 10 in a box and that makes them really really expensive. That's kind of that original Cheyenne vibe. These we can flip around because these are these are a tiny little bit more expensive than Killer Ink Stellar at least from the suppliers that we work with. So that would be price range. Now next thing I want to put on my list is consistency. So by that I mean that when you take cartridges are they more or less the same. And these three they are all pretty much consistent. Apart from these they are consistent as needles but there's a little factor and I'll get to that later. So there's a little downside on these. They consistent but the next one on my chart would be comfort of use and that's like isn't like packaging really annoying and stuff like that but these are pretty good and these are easiest to get out of the box because there are only 10 of them in there. These can get a bit messy but it's it's a matter of how you work and how you put things back in boxes. What I like about these like even if you have your cartridge lying around they have these things here and they are sorted by colors. So one color would be for magnums, next color would be for liners, next color would be for round shaders. So that's pretty neat. Same thing goes with the Killer Ink Stellar. They have these colors on here and from that color you can tell what type of needle is that, which for some reason is not an option for the most expensive needles of them. So let's look into that and for some unknown reason we ordered needles and liners. We have 11 liner and 9 liner but they are different colors. So it's the same liners, same numbers apply. Liner, regular, tight and all that. So maybe it's different batch or something, but for some reason 11 is in black and 9 is in gray color. So that's confusing. And last one, but definitely not least, is the safety aspect. And by the safety aspect I usually pay attention. Is there a membrane inside? Because one reason is cross-contamination and all that stuff and another reason would be flooding your machine if you're working with closed type machines like uh, Cheyenne, Hawks and Thunders and all that stuff or pens. You don't know what's leaking back. So it's nice to have that membrane in there. So let's have a look. Is there a membrane? Let's see if I can open them without tools. I can. This is a pretty neat membrane in there and it's by the shape and everything it's pretty similar to original Xi'an needles which is nice. Now let's have a look at Elite cartridges. Elite 3 which is favored by many of you who watched previous video. This one opens pretty easily. The packaging I mean. This bit comes apart a bit easier than previous one but looks like pretty much same story here. Sweet! And the Killer Ink Stellar. Oh this came apart super easy. It also looks like it, there's less rubber on a thing. I didn't expect that. Comes apart pretty easy. From the safety aspect of do they have a membrane, they all do have one. Killer Ink Stellar looks like the weakest of them all, but still it's there. Yeah, so how good the membrane is and how 
tight it stays we don't know yet but if any one of you had some sort of accident or anything then feel free to leave that below in the comment section so maybe it will help somebody to avoid mistakes or make their choices speaking of safety i have some special love to the precision cartridges so let's unpack another one so it's brand new cartridge and see how it performs with uh, with this top part and now i will quickly throw in a little story here we ordered these needles for a flash event so we did like a lot of tattoos in one day and we worked with these needles and one thing that one of our tattooists had they get stuck you work and it just clicks and i have a video here how tight it stacks and it just doesn't move so they get stuck and another issue with them was when you want to clean the tip you grab it with a paper towel and you try to clean it and this part slides off and needle exposed this much is definitely not safe then you have to change the cartridge or like if you notice that because you can even stab yourself accidentally so this method this way of building them doesn't work with these particular cartridges i haven't had that issue with any other cartridges but these precision cartridges were falling apart so that's a flaw in the build which makes them not so safe to use and it also makes consistency sketchy the cartridges for that price that fall apart that's a bit suspicious thing and that would fall in kind of garbage section so why would you use them it's a really questionable maybe we had a bad batch maybe it was unlucky maybe my fingers was very strong on the day but when they fall apart that's not a good thing keep that in mind and again if you have other experiences then share that with us and rest of the viewers and i'll have some final thoughts on the cartridges so which one i prefer and which one i don't and all that stuff final thoughts killer ink stylers they pretty okay and for the price it makes sense like with all these i found that with bigger size liners there's a bit of an issue with an ink flow so it's one of them situations where it's not flowing and then once it starts to flow it's all out and the cartridge is empty and you have to get your ink again but that's from nine nine would be kind of okay still from 11 it gets a bit sketchy smaller size needles work just fine and out of all of these these make the less rattling noise so they would fall in okay section and now elite three cartridges they would be my favorite ones of all this stuff because they pretty much you get what you pay for and you don't expect much from them and they work exactly like that so it's good price per performance value and also consistency and all that so are they are good not expensive cartridges for what they are they're not great but they're not really bad as well so these are the the very middle the very average out of all my categories so i really like them for what they are and killer ink precision precision is a strong name yes they are tight they have these tight ends they are sort of more precise you can see the needle better you can see in this transparent part like how much ink is in there but they get stuck and they fall apart so that's pretty bad that's the last thing you would expect from needles especially for the price they are these are the the worst of this lineup so they make no sense in price they make no sense in quality even that name is like precision like this is precision this this is far from precision so these are the most expensive and least consistent in quality i had a bad experience with them these are favorite ones if you don't have high expectations and these are okay so these would be my thoughts on this lineup and now you what's your thoughts on this lineup if you worked with them which ones are your favorite and why what do you think about maybe each particular brand and what's your favorite cartridges and also is there any other brands i should check out and as always don't forget to subscribe because i'll do more of these review type videos as well and leave your comments down below on previous video there was significant feedback from tattooists and i learned a couple of new brands that i will definitely check out so stick around don't be shy comment subscribe all that stuff thank you for watching